So inside the coil, underneath the actuating rod, I have a weaker spring. It's about the same length as the original. I've lengthened the actuating rod using one of the computer circuit board standoffs. It has a stop limiter that I've added. The main thing, of course, is the diaphragm. So you have to have one that's flexible enough, even though it's flat and not a bellows like the original, to provide enough throw. So the actuating plate or the driving plate here loosened the screws on the back and locked them in place by soldering wires to keep them from turning, keep them in one place, they're almost all the way out, keep that driving plate loose. In the diaphragm itself I've got washers below and above so they get all the force of the diaphragm at play. So I'll connect it now. Pretty good flow. This is after about seven hours of experimentation and trials. So another project for silly old men. Bye.